Thank you so much for agreeing to help us with the Great Sketchbook Giveaway. I am Brandi Voigt Fox. I'm one of the campus directors with Friday Arts Project at Winthrop University. And what the Great Sketchbook Giveaway is, is when we make beautiful handmade sketchbooks to give away to the incoming freshmen at Winthrop. Um, ordinarily, we would gather in this studio or in people's homes and sew them together um, with me at your elbow, walking you through each step and um, helping you figure out the process of doing Coptic bookbinding. But this year, we get to do things differently. So we've made this instructional video for you. Um, and what we will do is deliver a kit with the things that you need. Um, and you can get sewing. So thank you and enjoy. Okay, when you receive your kit, what it will have in it is a stack of notebooks waiting to be sewn. And each individual notebook will consist of two covers and four signatures, these little folded papers with the punch holes, that's the signature. And then you will receive some thread and a curved needle. So what you'll want to do to get started is first you will measure off the amount of thread that you need. Um, you don't have to do this precisely. I will show you in a later video how to tie on extra thread if you run short. So this way of measuring I have found to be mostly accurate uh, for me. So what you do is you measure one length for each signature and for each cover. So that would be six lengths that we will then double. So one, two, you'll notice that I'm leaving a little bit of margin on each side. Three, four, five, six, and then we double it usually goes a lot smoother. The downside to this method is that it can sometimes be a little bit unwieldy to have this long of a thread. So if you find that that is a problem, just use the method that I will show in the next video for adding thread in the middle of the notebook. You thread your dangerously sharp curved needle you tie your ends together, the kind of knot that you use is really irrelevant because this knot will eventually be cut off. And then you get your needle to the end. And you see this is, this is really excessively long. Um, you take your cover and your first signature. And you're gonna open it up to the very center point. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the edge of the paper lines up with the edge of the book. You do not want to line it up with the holes. You line it up with the edge, the cut edge of the book. And then you take your string and if you have either a binder clip or any other kind of clamp, I prefer these. Um, it's very helpful, although again not essential that you just kind of clamp it together. Um, and you don't want to clamp it too close to the edge because this flapping is actually very helpful. So you get your needle and you go and you always start on the inside. You go from the inside to the outside and you take your time because this is the stage where the most tangles happen and tangles are a giant headache. And then from the outside you go from the outside, the pretty side of the cover, in, like so. And you pull it taut. If you realize that you need to adjust it, you can do that. So, you've got this, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it wrap it around this little line of thread that you've made. You just bring the hook under, like so. It doesn't matter which direction you go. So just go in whichever direction feels natural to you. And you bring that taunt again, and then you go back inside the same hole that you came out of, making sure to end up back in the center of the signature. And 
once you've made sure that you've gotten all the thread through and that you don't have any snags, you go down to the next hole. Each signature will have four holes in it. You go to the second hole. You go out from the inside. You loop around as before. Pull it taut and go back inside. And you just keep repeating that process, taking your time and watching for snags and tangles. about to go through the fourth hole and final one in the signature. So you start out the same way, going in and taking your time to avoid snags and tangles. but you do not go back inside. This is the point at which you will attach your next signature. But before we do that, we're gonna pause. We're gonna unclamp this string. We're gonna tie it off. So you get a little tug. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it under this line of thread, this little bridge. So you put it under. You've got a loop here. So bring the tail into the loop. Then to avoid tangling with your tail, just tuck it under like so, and it'll be out of the way until you're done. So now you take your next signature and you line up the holes. You open it to the center point. And again, this is where a clip is not essential, but it is handy. But it's just one less thing. To pay attention to once you go. So you did your wrap on that fourth hole, but instead of going back inside, you will go inside the corresponding hole of the new signature. So you go inside and then you will immediately come out the next hole in that signature. From here, you loop around, you go down to the signature below, which in this case is the signature with the cover. Um, but that will not always be the case. You give it a nice tug, make it secure. Don't pull too hard, you can actually rip the paper, <laughs> which is not fun. to 
the next hole. And then you repeat this process. yourself at the top and final hole in the signature. You go out as previously. You loop as previously, but you do not go back inside that hole because instead you will add your next signature and go into the hole that corresponds. So you line up your paper, and you line up your holes. Corresponding hole and immediately out the next one. And I do find that this way also helps reduce snag a little bit. But snag will happen and it's just a matter of paying attention to what you're doing so you can catch them early. Okay, so now is when you will go and you will loop down, but you do not go here you go between the previous two signatures. So it's right there, just one step down. You're making a chain link for anyone familiar with crochet. When you get a loop like that and it's only one side, you just want to kind of figure out which of the two threads it is. So you've made your loop, you go back inside, and you come out the next hole. Since this is the fourth signature, once you've done your loop, what you will do is instead of adding another signature, this is where you will add the final cover. And this process will be very similar um, to what you did on the front. Starting with, so our threads are ready on the outside, so we're gonna go in through the cover. This is a stage at which I find a clip to get in the way and not help at all. Um, so we've done, we've come through, got our cover lined up where we want it. Um, and we're going to go down, we're going to loop downward instead of between the cover and the signature. We're actually going to go loop between the final signature and the almost final signature. Do that loop, we tie it securely, and then we go back into that fourth signature. And this part takes a little finesse, can be a little finagly. You just want to take your time. Okay, so now on the inside of the signature. And this is a different way than I've done it some previous years. Every year I make some slight changes to the process. 
um, as I discover throughout the year various techniques that I like better. And so what I would encourage you to do is to, we're actually gonna tie off at each hole in the signature at this point. So we'll just do a simple little knot. The downside to this is that um, if you miscalculate, it becomes harder to fix your mistakes. Like if you've got a snag on the outside. So really pay attention to what your thread is doing. can also be a little tricky getting back inside that hole. So just take your time and try not to split the thread uh, because that creates other problems that you just don't want to deal with. If you do split the thread, it's not the end of the world. It's just a nuisance. So see, there's a little bit of a snag on this side, but because I haven't tied my knot yet, I can still fix it. It's just a matter of figuring out which thread is causing the snag, which I think I've done. Looks resolved. So then we'll tie it off and we'll go under that. Okay. You'll go down to the next one. Glad I double checked because there's a little snag. But it was easy enough to pull out because we hadn't made our knot yet. And this thread that I'm working with right now is a little bit more finicky than the thread that I would send in the kits. I send the white upholstery thread uh, because I find that to be one of the easier things to work with and it doesn't highlight your mistakes, which I am always a big fan of. Okay, so this is your final hole in your final signature with the cover, but this time you do it exactly the same way you have every other time that taunt and go back inside and check for snags and you tie it off and then when you go to cut your thread leave a little bit of extra um, I'll trim those down uh, after I've checked over the books, but having a little extra makes it easier for me to fix any small problems. And there you have it, a sewn Coptic bound notebook to give away to incoming freshmen at Winthrop.